the federal government said it has abolished the policy of catchment area in the admission of a new student into the federal government owned university and it has threatened to sanction any university that contravened this decision. He said the new policy will commence from 2020. President Muhammad Buhari stated this at the 45th convocation ceremony of the University of Benin in Edo State, represented by the Deputy Executive Secretary, National University Commission, NUC, Suleiman Yusuf, directed all the federal universities to ensure that every local government, all the states, and all geopolitical zones are represented in the admission of the new entrance. President Muhammad Buhari has ordered security agencies to fish out those behind the murder of Mrs. Ashiju Abu, the People Democratic Party women leader in Kogi State. The president said the evildoer must be brought to justice, irrespective of whatever allegiance they hold. The president, in a statement by a special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adichino, said that he was expecting investigation into the heinous murder of Mrs. Abu who was a member of WADA and Aro campaign council in the just-concluded gubernatorial election in Kogi State. The statement read, President decried the whatsoever could spoil anyone to take the life of another human being, particularly a woman who was born to death in her home in the most gruesome manner. The president charged all the security agencies involved in the investigation to do a thorough and expeditious job on the matter so that the justice could be served without fear or favor. We must learn to behave decently, whether during election or at other times. No life should be taken wantonly under any disguise. And the fact that this irrepressible act occurred two days after the voting show primitive behavior, which should not be accepted in any decent society. Barry said any decent to barbarism as was visited on the PDP woman leader has gone out of the realm of the policies, describing it as a pure criminality and bestiality. All Progressive Congress has all Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and security agencies to ensure that the November 30th, 2019 Kogi West Central District Supplementary Election hold without a crisis. In a statement in Abuja by the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Malam Larry Issa Onilu, the party berated the People Democratic Party, PDP, for asking INEC to cancel the supplementary poll and for threatening to boycott it. The ruling party said it will not be deterred by the main opposition complaint and remain on its guard. According to the statement, APC has played by the rule in the election, while the electorates in the central district favor Center Smart Adeyemi as their preferred candidate. APC expressed confidence that the remaining unit for the supplementary will sink Malaya's dream. According to the statement, Senator Dino Milai did not win the 2019 National Assembly election for the Kogi West Central District. The AP court affirmed just that. Again, the Kogi electorate resisted and frustrated Dino Milai and the People Democratic Party plan to again rig the November 16 rerun for the senatorial seat. No level of propaganda or fake news can change these hard and fast. Bavidi Luxury Hotel, the newest home away from home in the Nigerian hospitality industry. Ten minutes only from the local and international airports is the perfect spot for your relaxation whenever you are in Lagos. 24-hour non-stop electricity, cozy and colorful rooms, Wi-Fi internet connection, and flat screen cable television. Bavidi Luxury Hotel, our exquisite restaurant and full bar are simply second to none in taste and style. Bavidi Luxury Hotel, we are located at the posh serene neighborhood in the KJB business district. Your satisfaction is our first concern, so we train our staff to be professional and personable. 
Ba Vidi Luxury Hotel, number 20 Moshuda Bella Crescent, Ikeja, Lagos. Telephone plus 234-1291-7929 plus 234-708-287-7512. Ba Vidi Luxury Hotel, the new home away from home. Academic Staff Union of the University has directed its member to boycott the purported secular from the Office of the Ankanta General of the Federation to enroll academic staff on the Integrated Payment and Personal Information System, IPPIS, starting from Monday. The union said the same Ankanta General of the Federation had challenged the union to develop a template that accommodate the peculiarity of academic staff and present same to it. As the chairman, University of Ibadan chapter, Professor D.G. Omali stated that the union leadership was still in discussion with the federal government and helping the government to develop a more robust template. The Office of Accountant General of the Federation, through a newspaper advert, has said it will dispatch their staff to universities from 25th of November 2019 for enrollment of staff into the IPPIS. According to Omali, the Vice President Yemo Shibadu, as an academic, understand this peculiarity and had benefited immensely from the peculiarity. The ASU board said no ASU member should appear before the accountant general team until further directive from the union leadership. According to him, while ASU support the fight against corruption, it will resist attempt by government to travel on the existing university autonomy act. ASU urge members to remain steadfast and stand firm to protect public universities by not filling any form or submit the about data for entering into the IPPIS. The union said it is not opposed to IPPIS, but the current templates will undermine the uniqueness of university academic and its autonomy. The federal government has said that proposed commercialization of the creative industry will reduce nation's dependence on oil, rebrand the country internationally, and boost its gross domestic product GDP. The government also said the main priority in 2020 was to ensure the successful commercialization of the sector to create jobs, reduce crime, and be a major source of foreign exchange. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, disclosed this at the 2019 All-African Music Award, Afriman, he vowed that the federal government would do everything possible to remove all impediment to the growth of the creative industry as part of the ongoing effort to encourage the growth of the sector. According to him, the government is providing the necessary framework through the Office of the Antony General of the Federation to ensure that listeners of music pay for it. He said, internet data must be cheaper, adding that the owners of the content must make more money from the use of their works. Discover the luxury at the heart of the Asian city of Benin, the prestige hotel and suite, a fantasy-like journey into a premium luxury. Its three minutes proximity to Benin Airport makes it preferable to other hotels, offering the best executive rooms and suites, swimming pool, gym and game center, having access to Benin Airport area view and with our top-notch event center to cater for your social and corporate events. Any of our rooms comes with a complimentary breakfast. Prestige Hotel and Suit offers guests a perfect blend of relaxation, business, and pleasure. We're located at number one, Ihamaru Airport Junction, Benin City, Nigeria. You can call us on 080-1519-7404 or you can visit our website at www.prestigehotel.com.ng. You can also email us at info at prestigehotel.com.ng The Prestige Hotel and Suite 
a world-class hospitality. Election in Bayosa State. Some of the local government areas had late arrival of materials, while some got theirs on time. The deputy governor of APC candidate, Beberu Kumo Deji Eromio, joyfully cast his vote. I thank God for the peaceful you know, atmosphere, and I want to especially also thank the Independent Electoral Commission for the ability for their doggedness and determination to conduct this election as scheduled several months again. In Bayosa State, I am Mildred Choma from Ben TV. Third edition of Prince Ned Oko Foundation One Day Patrick Golf Tournament held recently in Anyosha North local government area of Delta State. Hand with Shukudi Okoro, imagine the winner. Donatos Izuku and Emeka Adipe of Delta State fell behind the first and second runner up with total score of 57 and 58 net, respectively. The overall prize winner scored 65 net, 56 grand score over 18 holes with highest bed of six total two front and four back. Okoro, who is a bini based golfer, has represented Nigeria at various categories in golf tournaments across the continent of Africa. Earlier, at the ceremony at the of the organizer of the tournament, Prince Ned Oko told newsmen that his foundation is mainly to promote sports and golf tournaments, which has become an annual event, is geared towards empowering youth, as well as bringing more awareness to the game of golf. Meanwhile, a two million naira cash was staked for the event to attract best performing golfer and its runner-up in the one-day tournament. <laughs> 